Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to change drives uh, for my Classic PC editions. So whether you have the NES Classic PC edition, 32- or 64-bit, this will work, um, or the my SNES Classic PC edition builds. Um, this is basically, uh, if you don't have enough room on your C drive, you want to put it on a different drive letter, then this will, this will fix your problem. It's very easy to do. Uh, the only program you're going to need is Notepad++, and I will leave a link to it in the description. Uh, you can go get that if you don't have it already. So uh, let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the root of your C drive and take your SNES Classic PC Edition or your NES Classic Edition. So I'm going to show you SNES Classic today. Go ahead, you would right click and you can cut or copy. And I'm going to use an H drive. So my drive letter is H, but whatever drive letter you want to put it on, just put it on the root and then just paste it there on the root of that drive. I already have it copied over. Next thing you want to do is go into your SNES Classic PC Edition folder and we're going to go to the emulators folder and you'll see SNES 9X. Um, I'll show you the NES Classic one uh, after we do this one. So we're going to open that with Notepad++. So very easy to change. Um, basically all you do is highlight the C and the colon just like that and click search replace and then down here you're just going to want to put whatever your drive letter is. So mine is H and a colon. Next thing you do is replace all. There we go. Should say four occurrences. Close. Now it's going to run off of the H drive, H drive, H drive, and H drive. So don't forget to hit the save button right there. We'll hit save. Close. And I'm just going to mute before I launch. And we'll launch it up. sure that everything is up and running exactly how it was on our C drive. So if mine seems to take a while to boot, just because I'm recording. And there we go. So I'll exit out of there. And everything's fully functional. So now you've changed <clears throat> your SNES Classic Edition um, over to a different drive letter. It's that easy. Um, and this can be done with the NES Classic as well, so let's go back to the root of my C drive. I would just take my NES Classic Edition and I would, let's just pretend that I'm copying it uh, over to my H drive again and I would just, once it's on my H drive I'll go into, we'll go into emulators. Now this one here all you're going to want to change is the Nystopia. So we're going to open the Nystopia on the NES Classic one and we're going to do the same thing we did. So we would just take this, highlight C and the colon. Don't just highlight the C, because uh, then it will replace all of your C letters. So you're going to want to do the colon and the C. Be, be very sure that you have both highlighted. Um, and you can also double check once you get here in the replace. It'll say C, C. And then all I do is go to replace all for occurrences, which is our executable, ROM path, uh, box art, and snap. And that's it. And don't forget to hit save. And now your NES Classic Edition will also run on your whatever drive letter that you're using. So again guys, I really appreciate you watching. 
Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I hope this helped you guys out. And most importantly, have a good day.